What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about one of my new favorite fountain pens. Spoiler, I suppose, but you probably already saw if you watched the um, unboxing first impressions video that I posted. This is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with the FA nib. So I have done uh, a couple of reviews actually on this pen already. Uh, one with the posting nib, so the PO, which is like exceptionally, exceptionally fine. Um, <clears throat> wasn't a fan of that, mostly just because it was so fine. Um, and I'm generally not even an extra fine lover. Fine to medium is usually my sweet spot. Occasionally I'll go broader, but relatively fine or medium. Um, so posting was far too fine for me. And I also did the Waverly nib, which at the time, I didn't have the right expectations for it. Um, I didn't exactly know what was up with that. Um, so I would actually like to pick one up again uh, and do like a re-review now that I know a little bit more. But regardless, uh, this is the FA nib. I picked this one up from Pen Chalet um, on my birthday. And man, oh man, am I glad I did. I thought I would take a stab at the FA nib. Um, I debated hard between the Waverly and the FA. Uh, and the reason why I decided to go with this one is because I'm trying to get a little bit more into calligraphy, um, like dip pens and things like that. It is turning out to be much harder uh, than I anticipated. <laughs> um, and I've used the Pilot Metal Falcons before and I liked them, I did not love them. Um, they had kind of mixed results. So I was a little bit nervous, but I heard that this was better than the Pilot Falcons, um, which I no longer have anymore. Um, so I took a shot and I'm so glad I did <laughs> because I love it. Uh, so basically first glance of the pen, uh, it fits my aesthetic as far as the flat ends. Uh, I much prefer that over the um, traditional cigar shape. I know I'm a minority there, but that's just my thing. Um, all black, silver trim, not too much going on with this pen. Uh, there's really nothing even on the ends. Uh, you get the silver clip ring with the silver trimmed clip. Uh, fairly stiff, which is fine because I don't really use it. Um, has sort of a slim profile. If you just heard my cat uh, haul out of the kitchen, <laughs> sorry. Um, slim profile. It does not have Pilot's signature chonky ball, uh, which I don't mind, um, but I also don't mind that this doesn't have it. Um, so it's just sort of neither here nor there for me. Then you come down to the trim rings. Uh, one thin that says absolutely nothing, and then one bit chunkier um, with the custom 912 Pilot made in Japan. Um, and around the custom 912, there are two stars. Uh, and they're filled in very crisply uh, with black lacquer, I would assume. Um, somebody once told me that the amount of stars they have and like how it's filled in denotes like, not the value, well, I guess the value, but like where it falls in Pilot's um uh, like expense line i i don't actually know about that so if you guys do uh drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll get that conversation rolling but um i'm not familiar with that tapers down a little bit to the end or you get a silver uh ring for the f end finial nothing too much um i left this sticker on this is pilot fa it is pretty easy to remove most of the time it won't leave any sticker residue, um, but for whatever reason, I tend to leave mine on for pilots. I really have no idea why. Uh, it is a twist, the one and a half-ish turns uh, to get the nib out. Uh, the threads here, you can barely even see, you can barely even feel them. And then you have another silver ring here uh, before you get to the grip section. It is a relatively small grip section, so your thumb and potentially even your fingers will be over the threads, but you cannot feel them. They're quite shallow, they're quite smooth, um, so you should not have any problem there. It does flare out ever so slightly at the end, um, 
my watch just activated Siri, <laughs> uh, so that your fingers shouldn't go over the nib. And then you have, of course, the nib itself, which is the Falcon nib with the cutouts to make it a little bit more elastic. And then you have their traditional plastic feed. Uh, this is their number 10 size nib. So if you're familiar with Pilot, it is larger than the Custom 74, but it is smaller than the Custom 823. So it fits in the happy medium. Uh, but this nib, of course, is a little bit of an exception. You will have already seen a close-up of this in the, um, well, close-ups. <laughs> Uh, so it's unadorned. It just says pilot. Uh, wow, this lighting is terrible. Uh, you can't really tell, but it's raining. 14K585, 10FA. And then you unscrew the barrel to reveal the custom, custom? <laughs> Whoa, the converter, uh, which is the Con 70. It is chock full right now. Um, but there is the agitator in the middle. It essentially just acts as a button filler. Uh, and then it, it does have metal uh, threads here, so you cannot eyedropper convert it. It does come with the converter, so you do not have to buy that separately unless you purchase it direct from Japan. Um, if you purchase it direct from Japan, a lot of sellers do not include the converter, but I, not sure. I've, I've never purchased directly from Japan other than, gosh, a long, long, long time ago um, when I bought uh, a pen from Amazon, which happened to be a direct seller from um, Japan. It did come with the converter, but like I made sure I picked the one that did. Um, but since then I prefer to uh, try and support a little bit more North American. It does tend to be more expensive, um, but I do what I can, you know? That's all you can ask. <laughs> so I adore this pen. I very much like the weight and feel. It's a, a lighter pen uh, because it is all plastic, um, but that's good for me for very long writing sessions, which with this nib, I tend to do that. Um, so when I typically journal, for example, I'll use an A5 Tomoe River, um, and I will usually do about two to three. Yes, I know, I'll play with you in a moment two to three pages. Um, with this, I basically end up around 10 pages every time. Um, and I don't actually flex a whole lot with this pen, ironically. <laughs> but what I appreciate very much is that it does offer natural line variation. And what's interesting, and I didn't even factor into this, this is sort of like a came after the fact, I've been using it for several months now, when I go back and read my journal entries, which when I finish a journal, I typically will do that. I've noticed that depending on my mood, whether I was anxious, mad, happy, whatever, my writing style with this pen changes dramatically. And it doesn't happen really with any other pen. Sure, it can get a little messier, uh, but holy moly. <laughs> This will really pick up your mood because it is so soft, um, softer than if you have like a soft fine or soft medium. Uh, it really does uh, change based on your writing pressure, which apparently uh, changes my mood drastically. So uh, I'll try and show that to you guys in the writing sample. I'm not going to show you my journal entries because, you know, duh. Um, but that's something I didn't even factor in with this pen and this nib. Um, but I quite like it a lot. And this is gonna sound strange, but I, I, I find this satisfying. Just the noise that it makes. It's so random, but it's the little things that set it apart for me. Um, so I think that that's enough rambling. Uh, I do forget the price of this. I will put it down here. Um, I picked it up from Pen Chalet and I did get it on sale and I had a discount. So it was cheaper than what's listed, but this is the average price. Um, so. Let's get writing. All right, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, once again, this is the Pilot Falcon nib and the ink for today is Pilot Iroshizuku Sukiyo. 
Um, this is actually what I had in it when I first inked it up. I have since put um, some Colorverse inks into it. Uh, and what else did I put into this? Uh, a Robert Oster ink into here. Um, and basically had the same experience. Um, the only difference is occasionally I would get a little bit more railroading. Um, but to be honest, this pen is an absolute dream boat. So this is the point essentially of this Falcon is that you can get a really like narrow upstroke and a really broad downstroke. Um, you know, you can go from a fine to essentially a not quite double broad, but broader than a broad. Um, and it is very nice. You do hear some feedback and you do feel that a little bit but it is smooth and I have not touched this nib. This is factory fresh. Um, it is smooth. You do have some feedback. This is a fine nib. You can, if you get the um, Falcon, you can get an extra fine um, and that would be even toothier, but this is just enough feedback for me. Um, I typically like my pens to be super, super smooth, um, but I actually do enjoy this. What I was saying before with like, you know, that, that writing pressure, as you can see here, if you're angry, like you're more likely to have a thicker line versus like when you're calm, cool, collected, you're going to have a thinner, um, you know, so like as you write, the amount of like pressure you put down on the nib, sure, you may not get like the full flex here, but you're going to have a difference in your writing. Um, and this pen is quite wet. Um, I mean, quite wet, and I like that a lot. Um, it really does shine through with some good inks. Um, for reverse writing, no, you can't. And to be honest, I mean, that's if you want to reverse write, get a posting nib, which is just a PO nib. Um, but I am over the moon with this pen. I have a feeling it will always be inked up. Um, I mean, I've had this pen for a few months now. Like I said, I have cleaned it out several times to like do different inks. Um, but when I have the Sakushi in here, I usually end up filling the, the converter like four or five times before I'll give it like a clean and then, and then something else. But just, there's something about this combo that just does it for me. I like it so much. Um, and I don't even necessarily use it for calligraphy purposes. I just like the natural variation that it gives to my writing. Um, and it's just no other pen in my collection writes like this. So <laughs> I really like it. I very much recommend it. Um, it's slightly pricey, but I mean, it, it's worth it to me. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever used it and what your thoughts are. Um, like I said, if you want to check out the posting uh, review I've done and the Waverly review I've done, please do so. Uh, and yeah, hit that like button if you like this video, hit the subscribe if you liked it and want to see more like it every Monday and Friday and that occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And as always guys, I very much appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.